Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. This is why no aquarium in the world has a great white shark. The great white shark is a shark like no other, and the largest predatory fish. It scares many who think that it loves to prey on human beings, but that's not the case. Only very few cases have been reported. The great white shark lives under water temperatures between 12 and 24 degrees. It can be found in a majority of all coastal and offshore water. Most of the great sharks are found in Japan, Chile, US, and South Africa, but they can be found all over the world. They are mostly brown, gray, or almost black. However, their underbelly is always white. So why can't you find this shark in any aquarium in the world then? Today, we let you know the 10 reasons why no aquarium in the world keeps the great white shark. Before we begin, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and like the channel to get more updates on interesting videos as soon as we upload. Number 10. Limited Space in the Aquariums Sharks love to swim, and swimming in oceans, not aquariums. The great white shark is not your normal size shark. In size, it can reach up to 20 feet and weigh up to 7,000 pounds. Many efforts have been made to try and tame this shark to stay in aquariums, but nothing works. This shark also travels fast and at great distances and fast speeds that can reach up to 35 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed than some of our grandparents drive at. When kept in enclosed spaces, the shark tends to ram itself on the walls and injures itself, looking for more space. In other cases, the great white sharks may just refuse to swim altogether. Shark aquariums need to be large and have volumes of water that exceeds 180 gallons. The great white shark is a shark which is very active and needs even more space than normal sharks. That's why it enjoys its normal habitat where space is unlimited. If you want to keep one, perhaps try building an aquarium which is as big as an ocean. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, aquariums are an expensive affair. Aquariums are not a cheap affair, and especially not one that can hold the great white shark that can grow to a very large size of 20 plus feet. Since the aquarium is not their normal habitat, you would also need to invest in water supply, which doesn't come cheap. Regular cleaning of the aquarium too should also be considered, and that costs some serious money. Many people are also scared of the species that is known to attack human beings and having them in an aquarium means that more precautious measures must be put in place to ensure your tourists who come to the aquarium feel safe so that you enjoy the profits. Pleasing the shark that doesn't like captivity also means that you must constantly find ways to satisfy it. When it's hungry, it can even eat the other sharks or fish in the water and leave your aquarium empty. You may go through all the hassle and still not make a profit. Many have tried over the years to keep this shark and have ended up disappointed. This shark doesn't care about your profits. It just wants freedom and to be in the ocean where it is free. If human beings love their freedom, then let this shark be. Have you ever personally visited an aquarium and seen the great white shark? Let us know in the comments down below. Or have you encountered the shark while exploring in the deep sea? Number eight, depression. Who said sharks can't be depressed? When the great white sharks are kept in the aquariums, most of them experience depression. They refuse to eat and even showcase unusual behavior. Just like human beings who need to be saved from depression, so do captive sharks. When they are in an aquarium and they become depressed, they may inflict injuries on themselves to deal with the depression. For example, they are notorious for ramming their heads on the glass walls or refusing to swim or eat. This unusual behavior may lead to more troubles, not only for the great white shark, but also for the other fish in the aquarium. It may also let out its frustration by eating the other fish in the aquarium. To save this species from depression, we again would suggest we let them be in the oceans. We don't want the great white sharks to die young. 
Did you know that the latest studies show that this species can live up to 70 years? This can only happen in the oceans and not in our aquariums. Number 7. Their Lifestyle Sharks are geared to an aggressive lifestyle, and the aquarium feels like prison to them. You may think that this creature has no zeal for life, but think again. In an aquarium, there is no challenge and fun when it comes to hunting for meals. This in turn triggers the great Y to be bored. And believe me, no one wants a bored shark near them. Sharks are also somehow lonely creatures. They love to live in solitude, and it's rare to see them in pairs unlike other animals. Sharks enjoy their swimming and meditation. They enjoy their own company. An aquarium simply doesn't bring out the best personality of the great white. They get bored as there is no competition for food and nothing to stimulate them. It's just like you being imprisoned with nothing. Number 6. Starvation The great white sharks love to eat fish and other sharks. They enjoy hunting and would go for larger prey like sea lions, seals, and even sea turtles. They also don't mind eating the floating dead animals in the water. You may think since they love food, they wouldn't mind what you give them in aquariums, but shocks on you! The small fish or fish pellets that you may be tempted to serve them will not entice this shark. The great white sharks are picky on their diet and love to enjoy their meal in freedom, not captivity. They are also born hunters and love to hunt for their meal. So, when in enclosed spaces, they may refuse to eat what you offer them and become weak. They don't mind starving to death. You may try all you think they will crave and will still fail. Remember, this shark also doesn't chew their food. They also don't like to be dictated for their mealtimes like one would in an aquarium. They are hunters and they want to hunt when hunger strikes the most. This is why an aquarium is an unlikely habitat for them. Number 5. Water Composition Water composition in the aquarium can't compare to that of the ocean. Sharks love the salinity in the ocean water that stands at 3.5%. I know you may think that maybe using ocean water in the aquariums can be a solution to keep this creature under control at the aquariums, but it can't work. This needs no further discussion. Aquarium water and ocean water just will never match. Let the great white shark stay in the ocean, full stop. Number 4. Breathing Problems Unlike human beings, sharks don't have lungs, but that doesn't mean that they don't breathe. They get their oxygen from the water that surrounds them. This water enters the gills, then the small capillaries. As a result, oxygen enters their bloodstream. Most fish can easily pump water out of the gills using their mouths, but not the unique white shark. Although they filter oxygen out of their mouth while breathing, they need to be in motion like swimming so that water can continue entering their gills. When the great white isn't in motion, it will lose its strength and experience difficulty in breathing, and no one wants this unique species to experience complications in breathing. The shark needs ample space so that it can swim and breathe well, and when it doesn't, it can simply choke, and no one wants to see a choking shark. Number 3. Endangered Species The great white shark has been in existence for over 400 million years. This is way before the dinosaurs. However, now they are one of the most endangered species. Their worst enemies are us human beings. Some hunt sharks for profits, while others consider them to be a danger as they can kill, although hunting humans has never been an intention of the great white. So why are human beings this creature's greatest enemy? It is for their fins, hence the practice commonly known as shark finning. This is a process whereby sharks are hunted for their fins and thrown back to the water without the fins. The sharks then can't swim and they end up dying in the deep waters. The fins are on high demand as they are also easy to transport and less bulky, unlike an entire shark. However, this practice is illegal in some countries like the US. The shark fins are commonly used to make soup, which is a delicacy in China and Vietnam. It is believed to be a remedy to many ailments. The shark teeth are also precious components and don't come cheap in the black market. It is a sad reality that human beings are responsible for the death of hundreds of millions of sharks each year. And maybe sharks don't just trust our motives when we keep them in our aquariums. What are your thoughts on the issue?
And with that, it's now time for today's best pick and today's number two topic. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Now I'm not sure where the picture was taken, but it looks like the shark was having the time of its life in the water as it entertained the curious and fascinated guests at the stadium. The shark didn't mind showing off its sharp teeth. How many teeth do you think a great white shark has? If you guessed 300, you are correct. That's almost 10 times what a normal human being has. And number one, they can't handle captivity. The survival rate for the white shark at the aquarium is zero. In aquariums, you may keep the whale sharks or the orcas, but not the famous great white shark. Over the years, a number of aquariums have tried to keep sharks under captivity, but it hasn't worked, as it always ends in the misery for the white sharks. To put it bluntly, they die while under captivity. The longest a great white shark has survived in an aquarium is 198 days, which broke history as many are known to die only a few days within an aquarium. In a Japan aquarium, the great white died just three days from the time it was kept under captivity it had accidentally been caught in a net. Scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium can find a young male white shark in an aquarium. The shark was then released after 55 days as it couldn't eat. Upon its release, it died. Scientists were puzzled, but investigations showed that the shark probably died from injuries on its snout. This is mostly as a result of the injuries from knocking off the aquarium's glass or simply starving themselves to death. The great white shark is an iconic and unique fish for the ocean, and they aren't merciless hunters. They only want to be left alone to be the best versions they can be of themselves in the oceans and not in your aquariums. I'm sure by now you are pretty convinced that their place is in the oceans. Let's continue protecting this endangered species for the next generation, don't you agree? But with that said, that was our countdown on 10 reasons why no aquariums in the world keep a great white shark. What's your take on today's video? Your feedback is always welcomed and appreciated. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep the great white shark away from aquariums.